Good day, everyone. First and foremost, I want to formally introduce myself. I am Kalfama Siskilia Labau, an out and proud member of the LGBTQIA community. I am an incoming fourth year student taking up Bachelor of Culture and Arts Education at Bicol University College of Education. This month of June, the LGBTQIA plus community celebrates the Pride of Man. More than a story about justice, it was told that Pride Month is held every June to commemorate the Stonewall Riots during 1969. While it celebrates the progress that the LGBTQIA plus community has made, it also serves as a commemoration of the community's tragic losses of far too many hate crimes. This Pride Month, we, the member of the LGBTQIA community, feels the warmth of the equality and acceptance in the community we live in. Although we live every day with a pure and proud LGBT heart, this month is still something to be proud of. For me, it is like my birth month. Although I was born in the month of January, this June is also my birth month, the birth month of my other wonderful self. However, growing up with parents who are unaware of the changes in society, it's really hard for me to show my true self, not because I'm afraid of the judgment of others, but of what will be the reaction of my father. I am, I am the only child of my parents. It's a cliche story for every LGBT member, but deep within, I'm living with a fear of negligence, especially from my father. Yes, I am gay. My mother and other relatives had known this already since I was teen. But it's always a dead end road for me when I think about my father, who for some reasons has a name to protect. Even though I have the pain painful experience of hiding beneath the cover of the real me, I still love my parents and do hope they'll see how amazing it is to have me as a member of the LGBT community. They don't deprive me in all aspects of my needs. And that's something that I'm very grateful towards towards them. Maybe there are trying times for our family, but they are but they never failed to provide with all the need with all of my needs in life. Because of their efforts, I am obliged to repay something in return of what they did to me. I became a dean's lister and a president's lister during this academic year. It's my own little way of showing them the fruit of their efforts for raising me with unconditional love. This pandemic has given me much time to show to my parents and relatives the benefit of having this kind of blessing in the family. I have designed some of my mama's dresses every time she attends a wedding as a nina. I also do her makeup and some of my titas. It's an advantage to their side because I do it for free and it's also, it's already my hobby. <laughs> I also volunteered in decorating some of the small parties and events that we held in, in our family. The creativity that radiates out me boost my own rainbow in a more colorful way that can touch the heart and minds of others. Being part of the society as a gay isn't a fault in our stars. It's not something that we choose as a person. We are just expressing ourselves in the most honest way we can. If other think, if other think that it's wrong, then let's live with our rights to prove them wrong. Being part of this community doesn't make us less of a human. I believe that everyone should learn to fit their steps on the shoes of others to fully understand their stance. And as part of the community, I want to take part in breaking the stereotypes of the society towards gays, lesbians, and all the variation of gender preferences. I am a firm believer of respect. In fact, it is the best remedy for all. It mends broken heart, souls, relations, and anything blue. I ought to serve as a living encouragement to all of the members of the community 
to accept and embody whoever they think they are. To never feel apologetic for expressing their true selves. I want to promote self-acknowledgement, self-care, self-love, and even selfishness. To focus on yourself, your healing, and progress. I know it will be hard and will never be easy, but I hope you find comfort from everyone else in the community. We live in an indeed cruel world, and it is a tough and it is tough to get through. But despite that, prioritize yourself because you matter. <laughs>